Can we do this in one take? Let's go. Closing May strong was critical for Bernie Sanders. He knows he's behind. He knows he has a narrow window. The problem for Senator Sanders, in a normal circumstance, the insurgent wins one, ties one essentially with the front runner. You think that's a good thing, except because we're late in the contest, as May closes down, the math is starting to work against Senator Sanders. He needed heading into Tuesday night to win 67 percent of the remaining delegates to tie Secretary Clinton. Here's the problem as we get to the end of the month. He needs 70 percent now. So even though he had a pretty good night, the hill got steeper. Would Senator Sanders do better if the rules were different? Well, here's just the current scenario right now. This is where we are. Then you add in what the Sanders campaign would call the dreaded superdelegates, and she has 521 to his 41, and that makes a lopsided difference. So as of right now, if she keeps all these superdelegates, look, she's fewer than 100 delegates from the finish line. So the Sanders people say, well, that's not fair. Especially these guys. A lot of them declared months ago before the contest. That's not fair. Well, what if we played it out differently? What if it was winner take all? Senator Sanders says, if you're a superdelegate from a state I won, you should have to vote for me. But what if those were the rules? Well, he would get more superdelegates. He would jump up to 177. Uh, she would still be pretty significantly ahead. So this would be better for Senator Sanders, but not good enough to change the fact that she's still in lead. So here's another scenario for you. What if it was proportional? If you get 55% in a state, you should get 55% of the superdelegates, and so on and so forth. If you did it proportionally, again, Senator Sanders certainly gets more superdelegates than he has now. He's up to 265 under that scenario. She comes down to 296, but fundamentally, Secretary Clinton still leads Senator Sanders in that scenario, even if you give the superdelegates based on proportional rules. Then, Senator Sanders has said, and this is something he wants to fight about at the convention, superdelegates are undemocratic. Let's just get rid of them. Get rid of them. Abolish superdelegates. Let the people decide. Well, if it was just the people deciding, she would still be significantly in the lead because she's won more states and territories and she's won more votes. So no matter how you shake out the rules, Senator Sanders might be a little stronger in some scenarios, but in every one of these scenarios, she's still on top.